<laughs> that's that's kind of scary. Let's jump in the truck. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another episode. Uh, as you guys may know, I was just in Red Deer, Alberta, visiting some family. So before we start this video, I need to give you a montage of family time, get you all caught up. So everybody, I would like to welcome you to Red Deer, Alberta. Now, as you guys know, as soon as we got to Red Deer, Alberta, we got a flat tire. Now, it wasn't foreshadowing for the time to come. We actually had a really, really fun time. Pretty much all of my family members are in Red Deer. So we got to uh, spend some time with family. And no offense to all my other family members, but I got to see my mom. I'm a huge mama's boy. There's lots of laughs, there's lots of dinners and a few drinks on the side. If you take anything away from this video, take away this one thing. We went to visit my dad at Honda Red Deer. And if you want to buy a car, you need to go to Honda Red Deer and ask for Cal. If you, if you come to Red Deer Honda, this is the guy. Calvin Burke is the best. Best. <laughs> He will look after you, I promise that. I have almost all of my family members in Red Deer, Alberta. So for the three days, we were really, really busy. And the whole time I was just itching to hit that pavement, to hit that open road again. And so after the three days, we did. Open road is right. It is so flat. I'm reminded every time I visit home how flat the prairies actually are. But I do have to admit there's a certain type of beauty to be seen. Although not for long because Rebecca fell asleep. And then she woke up and watched a movie. We stopped for a train. We saw another train. And another. The price of gas went from $1.40 to $1.06. With all those savings we went to Humpty's. Had the best waiter and turn that frown upside down. Slowly making our way east as the sun falls behind us. Now you're all caught up. So where are we right now? We're at a truck stop just outside of Winnipeg. You see the big trucks? My camper actually looks small today. Usually it looks big, but compared to these trucks, it looks quite small. Uh, we slept the night here, and we're actually gonna put in about seven hours of driving time today and get to Thunder Bay, Ontario, I think. So that's the plan. Uh, nothing against the prairies. I just grew up in the prairies um, for 20, whatever, 21 years, and uh, um, we just really want to see the East Coast. And so we're kind of skipping, not skipping through, but driving through Saskatchewan, driving through Manitoba at a reasonable pace until we get closer to the East side, because that's where a lot of our uh, uh, stuff is that we want to see. So let's hit the road right now and uh, and get some miles under our belt or kilometers. I'm saying miles, boy, it's so un-Canadian of me. I just missed the Ontario sign, but we are now in the province of Ontario, and look, we are out of the prairies. We finally have some trees on either side of the highway. This time I fall, this time I fall, this time I I think that we're almost full. We're, uh, we made it to Thunder Bay. 
We made it to Thunder Bay and uh, we're just at a husky station and I don't know if all husky stations have it, but this one has a water hookup. He said, yeah, be my guest, take some water. And uh, also you can sleep the night. There's some trucks over there. But he said, if you're just a small RV to, uh, to sleep over there. And so that is where we are right now. We are gonna uh, fill up some water and hop in the camper, get the furnace going, cause it's freezing right now. Right there, that's our home tonight. Oh, it's cold out there. Wine already? <laughs> okay, <laughs> sounds great. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> I didn't know, I told her to film me, but I didn't know she got the wine out. <laughs> uh, we could have uh, boondocked or uh, dry camped in front of, what was that, a Holiday Inn? A Holiday Inn? There's a hotel yeah. with some nice parking alongside it, like almost like street parking, but it's always nice to park in an area you know 100% you're allowed to be there. I mean, I sleep on side streets a lot, but it's always just reassuring. You know, you can have the lights on and not really care if people know you're in the RV. It's nice. Then you can start drinking wine. <laughs> Guys, let me show you something. I got a Canadian map and I want to show you how far we've come and what the plan somewhat is. So this, folks, is where we are right now, Thunder Bay in beautiful Ontario. And so now we're going to continue on um, through Ontario. There's a few spots we're going to hit and then of course we get into uh, Montreal. We're going to make a stop in Montreal to see Rebecca's friend. <laughs> Don't you hate when I just point the camera at you randomly? See your friend? <laughs> and then from Montreal. Uh, we're gonna get into the, uh, uh, the 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 maritime. That's what it's called, right? The maritime, Mar maritimes. Yeah. So New Brunswick. There's tons to see in here. Of course, Nova Scotia, Prince Edward Island, Newfoundland. There is so much stuff we have to see. Uh, we still have to see. I love traveling like this in a vehicle because you get to see the changes and you also get to feel the changes such as temperature. Um, I think it was minus, what was it today? Zero? Plus five? It gets down below zero at night, but probably plus five today with wind chill. Uh, still not too bad and still we haven't actually had bad road conditions or hit a storm yet, which is nice, which is very, very nice. So that's where we are right now in Ontario and I uh, can't wait to, uh, to explore this beautiful province and uh, um, yeah, I thought that I'd, I'd let you guys know. That's it for, uh, for I think I'm gonna wrap it up. What do you think? Um, I was gonna turn the camera to her, but she's doing some crazy dance. Do it again, do it again, do it again, do it again. <laughs> I hope that you guys enjoyed the video and have an amazing, oh my goodness, that, those dance moves are so good. I won't even, I won't show you guys, but she's, those are some pretty impressive dance moves. Enjoy the rest of your night. Keep living that dream. Until next time, my friends, take care and bye-bye. Have a glass of wine on me tonight or a beer. Bye guys.